What's up guys, Jocelyn Davis here for Clever TV, hanging out in the home studio of Trace Cyrus. Um, it's so cool to have you back on the scene, I have I know. to say. I've been gone a while, it feels like. Well, I, I have been gone a couple years, I guess. Um, basically, last thing I did was touring with Metro Station with Miley. And uh, I don't know, I've just been kind of trying to find my own sound with my new project, Ashton High, and finding the right team and getting back out there. So finally, all the pieces have come in place and I'm about to you know, really uh, just make my way, I guess, back into the music world, you'd say. And I love how you've been so honest. I was reading on your Tumblr page that like these past two years have been a really big journey for you and that you kind of seem like you really are happy with where you're at right now. And where would you tell your fans that you're at right now? Well, basically, the last two years, um, my band Metro Station broke up about two years ago. And that was, that was a hard time for yeah. me. I was, uh, I was just depressed. I. I was sad because I, I went from on top of the world to just, you know, losing my friends, you know, not really knowing where I wanted to go musically. I was making a lot of songs, but, you know, I wasn't really having interest from labels and stuff, which a lot of the reason was because there wasn't a lot of publicity explaining what happened with Metro Station. So a lot of people kind of thought I was still signed to a label, which I kind of was. I was technically, I just got mm -hmm. out of my deal with um, Columbia Records and, you know, I'm no longer tied to Metro Station because I really wanted freedom to do my own music. Um, and I finally have that, you know, I have a good manager with me, a good team, and, um, you know, I'm in a totally different spot um, than I was two years ago. You know, I was, like I said, dealing with just losing friends and, you know, not where, knowing where to go, and now finally I'm happy. I have a fiance, um, I'm in my house, you know, I have a great home studio where I got to record. So, um, I don't know, I think um, I kind of expected you know, chaos and bad things to kind of keep happening because it kind of just felt like a downward spot spiral, like everything was just kind of going to hell. And then I look at everything like everything happens for a reason. I feel like God kind of took away Metro Station and the greatness there so I could settle down and have my love life, meet, um, meet my fiance, you know. I've had the worst relationships just because touring, it's impossible to meet right, a good girl. Yeah. So now I, I, have, um, I have the most loyal fiance ever. She's fantastic. and. I got to finally figure out my personal life, and now that my personal life figure out, music's basically all I'm focusing on, so yeah, that's just the next thing coming out for me. How would you describe the sound? I mean, personally, I love to dance and have a good time, so I feel like the music really brings out, but there's so many different emotions within the lyrics. Yeah, with this, know? with this sound, I try not to, I try not to categorize it too much, because mm -hmm. with Metro Station, we always got kind of categorized in this like, pop punk scene type thing and we weren't punk or rock and really in many ways at all like we were we were making pop songs and you know I was kind of talking to you about it a little while ago off camera just that with my image I always get categorized as you know this like pop rock star this rock star or something and with these new songs I really tried to write strictly just pop songs there's a lot of electronic influences with the beats and the synthesizers and stuff um, a lot of 80s influences and stuff, but still, I just like to say it's pop. I also love the music video, which came out in conjunction with the free download, which is awesome. Why did you decide to do a free download? That's so generous of yeah. you. Well, basically, I've been, like I said, I've been away a couple years, and with Metro Station, you know, I showed you guys, you know, the home, the home studio and the tour, and with all the plaques I had, I, I made a lot of money, and, you know, more money than I expected to make. I sold a lot, a lot of records, more records than I ever expected, and since I had been gone and I had so much success, I was like, what's the best way to get back into the music world and give something back as I do it? So I was like, I'm gonna give away the album for free. I'm gonna shoot a music video and drop it at the same time. So there's a bundle basically. You can watch you know, the music video, you can download the 11 free songs. And I just looked at it as there's a lot of rappers and stuff doing mixtapes and stuff mm -hmm. and different things, but not a lot of pop artists are willing to give away free music because you do, like if you're a mainstream pop artist, you're destined to make a lot of money if you work hard and have songs on the radio, which I did. So, you know, instead of being greedy and kind of just going right back out trying to make money, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give away these songs and hopefully my fans can see that I'm doing it because I appreciate them. And that's honestly why I'm doing it. Are you so excited to get back on stage and be out there with your fans? I'm excited for the first show. I'm actually nervous. Um, and I, I never thought it would be. For the first shows I played with Metro Station, I never got nervous and I don't know why. I think I was so excited to get into the music business, but you know, once you've kind of made it and there's there's a little more pressure because people right. are expecting you to be really good. So um, I'm excited, I'm nervous. I have a lot of emotions. I just, I don't really know what to feel. It's, uh, it's cool to see my vision come together. Um, I just, uh, 
Hopefully it's not a disaster. But no, it's gonna be good. It's on the first show's on my birthday. Which is so cool. Yeah, like I was saying, I wanted to do do it on a special day. I dropped the online album on January 1st, so I was like, the first show has got to be something important. And I was like, you know, my birthday, that's kind of the best birthday present to give to myself. It's just, you know, I'm turning 23, now I'm getting back out in the music world. You know, I had a nice break, and it's time to work again. And you know, I realized that. So we're playing um, Chain Reaction in Anaheim, the uh, 24th. And um, that's one of the first places I ever played as a kid with Metro Station. So I requested to play there for my first show. It's um, just me going back to my roots. Then after that, we'll play the 26th at the Roxy on Sunset Strip. And um, I've played there a few times too. And um, that'll be the show where, you know, I'll have a lot of my family and friends out. And, um, you know, it's my hometown show. So they'll both be good. And then after that, I plan on just getting back on the road, trying to get on a tour at the beginning of March. And then. Um, Honestly, I'll probably tour for the, ne the rest of the year and then hopefully slow down and make a real on uh, in stores album. How has, you know, having this great fiance and that specifically kind of like changed your life? Um, it's having a good fiance is it's a lot less stress. Like my past relationships, they were tough and I never felt like I really knew the person as well as I do now with uh, with my fiance. There's no secrets, you know, I've never lived with, you know, anyone in the past, like a girl like this. I've never, I've never been on this level with someone and I'd never even thought about asking someone to marry me at such a young age. Honestly, I've, I've always kind of had, you know, been against the whole concept of marriage just because I feel like if you love someone you can be with them. What changed then? Um, I don't know, I guess you, until you meet the person, I don't think you can realize it. You know, it's hard to put it into words because, you know, there's, there's always people you're going to meet, you know, in relationships that you think are great, but you know when it's the one. Like when it's the one, there's really nothing that, you know, can change your mind. If my, if like my best friend was about to go get married, I'd probably freak out. But <laughs> once you know the person, the girl is, you know, that good for you, she's the one for you, then there's really no second thoughts. Well, that would be awesome. Another thing we haven't even talked about is your clothing line. You're yeah. like a mogul in the making. How do you even have yeah. time for? I'm for I'm that venture, to, you I'm know? I'm trying to just be a young entrepreneur. Um, you know, I, I started off with the music and as soon as I started with the music industry, I always said I was gonna have a clothing line one day and I kept trying to do it during the time period of Metro Station. I had designs and I had another clothing name already with a website up and all this stuff. And um, it just came time, it came, it came down to where I didn't have time to focus on it. I was like, all right, if I can't put 100% into this, I don't wanna do it yet. So I just held off and then as soon as I got off tour, I uh, I start I started Southern Made Holly Paid when I was touring the the name of it and I got designs I found a team to people to ship it out all this stuff and um, that's been going for I want to say like almost a year and a half two years now I Brenda my fiance she models the girl stuff I get Miley to model a few of the items there's a collaboration shirt with Miley out um, if you buy that proceeds go to Miley's charity uh, there's only a few of those so pick that up. But um, I don't know, it's basically just a, it's a lot of my visions. You know, I, I feel like I dress very unique and different, or at least I try, you know? So I kind of wanted to make designs and things that I wouldn't see in stores. You know, I'm always traveling and looking at clothes and usually I hate everything I see. If you could look down the road, like 10, 15 years, and like really imagine like your complete dream, like music, personal life, like whatever, the sky's the limit. Like, what would you envision for yourself? 10 or 15 years from now? It sounds like a long time, but in reality, I know it's gonna fly by. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what's crazy about this industry. Um, I plan on, first of all, as much as I love California, um, I wanna get the hell out of here. Uh, so, <laughs> hopefully, honestly, if I can do it, I'm gonna always have a, a place here. I'll either have, you know, a house or a condo or something, but my family sells a 500 acre farm in Nashville, so I wanna build a house there. I wanna, you know, hopefully, we want me and Brenda wanna have kids, you know. I wanna raise them in Nashville. I don't want them to live in this chaotic world of uh, Los Angeles. And um, I wanna just keep, uh, keep touring and playing shows and making music. You know, I really, I do care about being successful with Ashland High, but Things like award shows and you know awards you win and plaques even like I have on the wall here they really don't matter to me like they're they're cool to have and you know it's it's cool to say you have them but at the end of the day as long as I can I look at my dad's career as just how kind of how I want mine to go since I was you know since as long as I can remember my dad's been playing music and he's just constantly been touring and making albums you know whether he cares about having a hit on the radio he's not focused about that as long as he gets to do what he loves that's what makes him happy and 
that's what I plan to do. I've always said as long as I can just tour and play shows, that makes me happy. You know, I don't have to win a Grammy or anything like that. So, you know, as long as I have, uh, you know, my girl, you know, my music and my fans, there's really nothing else I need. Well, thank you for having us here today. This has been such a treat and to get to hang out, hear about your new music and that. the shows and everything. So you guys make sure to stick with Clever TV and check out the info section below because we will have all of the details for you there. Thanks so much for watching and thanks again for having yeah, thank us. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. <laughs>